Thank you so much for tuning in to Dub World. If you're wondering why my voice sounds a little funny, it's because I'm a little bit sick and under the weather. So I'm working on getting a video out for you all today. If you've subscribed to the channel, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you haven't, please consider doing so. And also remember to comment on the videos. It helps the channel grow. Today we're going to focus on a few things from my 2001 Volkswagen Eurovan Winnebago camper. Specifically, I'm going to be reviewing the canvas pop top tent from Go Westy. Are you ready for this latest adventure? If so, let's go. So I wanted to give you guys a brief overview of this pop top canvas tent that I got. Actually, it's an acrylic tent from Go Westy. So I installed this as a replacement for the original one that was on my 2001 Eurovan full camper. You can see here in the back, this is actually the string that was part of the tent there. I'm not actually sure why that's even necessary. Um, I guess it's made to probably try to pull it tighter around the edges, but I don't really see a need for it. I thought about cutting it, but in the end, I just left it like that. It's no big deal. So there is a bead that runs along and that rope forms the bead. So what happens is you have to put the metal track and I'll show you over here. There's the bead and this retaining trim this track here is what holds the canvas on and holds it tight keeps it from pulling out of course the screws really keep it from pulling out but this forms the edge so as you can see here this canvas is pretty loose pretty loose the very top it's kind of tight see the edges how it's put together see the track here so I determined when I went to put this on that the manufacturer that go Westy uses for these tents made this canvas a little bit too big so the back is kind of baggy the sides a little bit not much doesn't uh, really detract much from the look but it's not as tight as the original for sure yeah as you see here I've got this bungee cord which is running between my two lifts. Now Go Westy sells these heavy duty supports, these lifts here, and they have a locking mechanism on them. So you can see this. So when it's open, that moves into place. So for some reason, if it fails, it can't come down on you if you're sleeping up top. It's a nice feature. They sell these as a pair and Normally what you do is you take one of these off and you just have one side that's locking. However, when I installed these on the van, I found that my original canvas was so tight and short that neither one of these actually would lock. So it was really kind of a moot point. However, when I put the new canvas on, not only did one of them lock, but both of them locked. So the only way I could lower the roof is to put this bungee on so typically what i do is if i'm camping i'll move it up to the top here like this and you can use it to hang stuff lights clothes if you want whatever it may be and then to lower it i just bring it down and it pulls them together and i can lower it just a little uh, side note of information i wanted to talk to you about with these go westy new lift struts um, process was good the directions installing them was good they talk about having to use a, a come along and some rope to install these if you have a stretched out canvas you may not need that method but with my original canvas on here the roof was so tight i needed to be able to compress these more in order to get them on so so I wanted to give you a general overview of what I thought about this acrylic canvas. I ordered my first one from Go Westy, and when I received it, there was all sorts of blue registration marks 
look like it was uh, areas where they intended to sew the canvas together and use it as uh, guide marks for the sewing. And actually, if you look right here, you can see them. There they are right there. They were all over the other canvas and they were blue. I didn't know if they were something that would come out or not. I didn't want to risk uh, possibly cleaning it and ruining it. So I contacted them, showed them pictures. They told me to send it back and they'd send out a new one. So I got it back, uh, got a new one back. I got this one. And as you can see here, it's pretty good. Um, it's not perfect. You notice, looks like it's got some extra openings there, which, you know, how this is sewn, letting a little extra light in. And it was like that from the beginning. I'm hoping this doesn't end up tearing. We'll see how the durability is, but they're little tiny pinholes. Um, I did like the windows in here. They're nice. It's got a spout screen so you can access your luggage. That's really handy. Zippers seem to be decent quality. One aspect that I was disappointed in are the straps here to tie up the canvas uh, windows when they're rolled down. As you can see the ones laying inside. The original ones are gray, match the canvas. These are black, not a real big deal, but it's a much thicker material than what was on there originally. And as you can see here, see all the fraying? Let me show you over here. Look at this. So they don't bother to finish the ends of these and it causes them to fray. So what I end up doing is I um, applied heat, actually a flame to the end here and cauterized it so it wouldn't come apart. But that's kind of disappointing. You spend a lot of money for this canvas and you think you know, it would be finished and not rough like that. So let me tell you about my experience installing this. Removing the original one is not that bad of a job except when a bago silicones everything. So the entire outside perimeter of this canvas is silicone to the body. There's also these silicone wedges in each four uh, each of the four corners, especially in the back. But they used a serious amount of silicone back there, a serious amount. And that's in the drip channels to keep rain from getting in. So, um, for anybody that's new to these campers, one of the things I'll mention too is it's a good time to periodically inspect up here and make sure everything's in good working order. You can lubricate these hinges for the roof. There are caps here that cover the bolt ends to keep them from ripping through the canvas. That's another reason why this panel is here. It's Velcroed on the top and bottom. Mine's actually coming off at the bottom there. But that keeps your canvas from getting caught in the mechanism and torn. You wanna make sure these are there, they're in good shape. And take a look at that, you can actually see that's holes from where it's gotten caught in this mechanism. So that's protecting the canvas from getting holes in it. There's your wiring for your roof electrical. So when I got to installing this, took out the original, cleaned off all the silicone. I go to put this on, get to the very back here, which is kind of tight to work in. And I realized that the canvas from the roof to the bottom was taller than the original canvas. And that posed a problem because I wanted it to be nice and tight and clean with no wrinkles. And the only way you could achieve that is by pulling that cord, which creates this little wall here, would be to pull this out about an inch or two from that track in order to make that rear portion tight. And unfortunately, when you do that, you no longer have a nice beaded seal here. 
Now, of course, it's still screwed in and then it's silicone from the outside, so it's not gonna be a real problem, but I didn't like that. I wanted it to look just like the original. So when I screwed it down, I screwed it just like this, the bead tight, top and bottom. Well, let me show you the end result. Oh, it feels a lot better to be outside. It was really hot inside there. It's in the 90s today here in Florida. And it's not completely aired out. So here's the back canvas. And you can see this. It's very loose. Look at this. Extra material here. Very loose. So what happens when you go to fold down the top, when you go to close it, of course, even with windows open, the air is going to force this canvas out. So when you go to close the top, the sides want to push out, the back wants to push out, and you have to tuck it accordingly. Now you can't, from the inside, get up here and tuck this, you can't pull it in. So when you go to close the top, you have to come back here and you have to tuck it. The problem is, I also have this brand new Go Westy pop top seal, uh, which I'll talk about in another video. But that seal from tucking ripped off. Now this is a brand new hundred and some dollar seal. And the quality, in my opinion, is pretty poor. That just gentle tucking of the top caused this to rip off. And I contacted Go Westy about it. And again, I'll talk to you in another video. I don't know if the manufacturer that is making these for Go Westy has that same issue on every one or that just happens to be the one that I got here so you can see the straps on the inside there the screen overall I think it's a pretty good canvas does have some issues and my opinion for the amount of money you pay for it it should fit perfectly but I just wanted to share my experience with you and you make the decision for yourself on whether you want to purchase from Go Westy or another supplier so here's the issue that I was talking to you about so with the roof pulled down you've got this canvas sticking out back here now if you have a lot of windows, doors open to help with the airflow inside when you're pulling down the top. You'll have less sticking out. This isn't all that bad, but it still needs to be tucked in. And I go here and I gently tuck it, but no matter what, like I said, this roof isn't closed all the way. You still, your hand has to touch the seal. And as you can see right here, this is where it's broken because of having to do that. But I go around, make sure everything's tucked up. Now I've done way more tucking on the sides than I have in the back and yet the seal is still in good shape here. So I go around and make sure I do that. This side's a little more difficult because I've got the awning, but you can still see up in there. And then once I get that done, I simply Pull down on the back to make sure it's tight. Come back inside, pull down, make sure you hear that second click, and then you're locked in. And I close my skylight.